and welcome back. Today I am filming a red apple lipstick swatches video for you. So I was really, really excited to receive some lip products from Red Apple Lipstick. Very, very grateful to the subscriber that put me in touch with them after seeing uh, one of my videos a few months ago saying that they were one of the brands that I wanted to try more of in 2021. She had actually, I think, sent them an email just to let them know that I'd made that video and then their PR department reached out to me. So I was very, very grateful to be sent these and thank you again to that subscriber. Because they did send me one, two, three, four, five, six lip products, I thought it would be helpful for me to do a swatches video. I have been testing them out for a few weeks and I do have my thoughts summarized I think in my head. So we're gonna talk through that today. I'm first going to say what the brand is and what they claim makes them different and stand out from other lip product brands. And then I'm going to tell you my experience of wearing the lip products and what I think of them in general. And then I will also talk you through each shade, uh, show you swatches on my lips and also on my hand. So hopefully this is super helpful if you are interested in red, red apple lipstick. This video is not sponsored. They are not expecting me to make this video. They did not ask me to make this video in exchange for the product. But uh, since they did send me so many lip products, I just thought it would be helpful to make. But yeah, if you do like the video, please do hit the like button below. It would really mean a lot to me and hit subscribe if you would like to see more of my content I would really appreciate it and if you have tried red apple lipsticks before do let me know in the comments what your favorite shades are what your favorite formulas are I would love to know okay so the first thing I'm going to talk through is what the brand claims so I am on their website at the moment red apple lipstick are more of a clean beauty brand so they really pride themselves in having very clean ingredients free from a lot of allergens and a lot of toxins so they say um, if you want the finest highest quality responsibly sourced ingredients in your green makeup and you also want makeup that performs fabulously then they, th this is the brand for you basically. So they're never tested on animals and they have the smallest environmental impact as possible. They do not contain gluten, dairy, corn, peanuts, eggs, apples. If you have any specific allergen questions, please do email them. So they're really kind of transparent about what, what ingredients are in their lip products. And I think that's especially important for something like food allergens because obviously a lip product you are going to be ingesting it throughout the day so those are the kind of food allergens that the lipsticks do not contain and then they are also gluten free gmo free paraben free toxin free petro petroleum and mineral oil free lead and talc free vegan and cruelty free and fragrance free so as a lipstick brand um, they are definitely being pretty out there with their claims they are saying exactly what they do not include and a lot of brands don't do that so i do really appreciate that i know they are also logical harmony approved and leaping bunny certified i believe yeah i really do trust their cruelty free status those are like the two uh, kind of certifications or uh, resources that i trust the most for my uh, cruelty free status research. So obviously their main kind of product line is lip products. So they have lipsticks, lip gloss, lip liners, uh, balms, exfoliating sticks, lip masks, everything lips they have, but they do also do eye makeup, cheek, cheeks and brushes as well, if you are interested in those kinds of things. I really just wanted to try the lipsticks. From my perspective, I have heard about Red Apple red apple lipsticks for a while i remember they actually have on their website um this youtuber on like featured recommending different lip products of theirs for redheads but i have watched ashley is it ashley tia or i'll link her below but i've been watching her for years and she would talked about red apple lipsticks back in the day so i had heard of them before i never really knew much about them until I went cruelty free and then the name kept cropping up. And I guess what intrigued me was that they seem like a really high quality lipstick that's also a clean formula. And I think that's kind of hard to find. And although they're not cheap, they are definitely a high end price. Um, they're not also as expensive as some designer lipsticks. 
So uh, they're very similar in price, I would say, to like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but you do have lipsticks that are way more expensive than that um, by brands like Tom Ford. They're a high-end price, but you get what you pay for in terms of ingredients. So I do really appreciate that they obviously go to a lot of effort as a brand to make sure that they are being ethical, responsible, uh, in sourcing their materials. And that's just something that I appreciate as someone who shops cruelty free. So that's a little bit about the brand and like what first kind of drew me into the brand. Um, my experience of the lip products is that I do think they are really high performing lip products. I really do enjoy them. I'm gonna get into the shades in more detail in a, in a minute, but um, just to let you know, I have two glosses and four lipsticks to talk about. I couldn't find what formula each lipstick is, and I would say a few of them feel different when you're applying them, but in general, they are all very kind of nourishing. There's one that feels more mattifying, but not drying in any way. So when you, when you put it on the lips, you can just feel that it's a little bit more velvety on the lips than some of the other ones. The other ones feel a lot more creamy. So there obviously are different formulas, but it's not 100% clear what formulas each one is. And, and I'll go into that a little bit more in a minute. I do think that they could upgrade the packaging, but I completely understand their main concern is to make sure that the ingredients are really good. <laughs> so I would prefer to spend more money on the formula and what I'm actually putting on my lips. Although I do think if you are gonna spend a high price for a lipstick, it's nice to have it feel a little bit luxe. And I think they've done a good job with balancing what people expect from paying that kind of price because it does have a nice kind of click to it. It is a plastic packaging. It has this kind of like bobbled thing at the end, which, which makes it feel a little bit different to your average plastic packaging. It definitely feels I would say higher end than MAC lipstick packaging, but lower end than something like Charlotte Tilbury. So I'd say it's somewhere in between that. Um, but as I say, you're paying for the formula. I think anyone who's gonna be shopping from Red Apple lipsticks are gonna be more concerned about what ingredients they're putting on their lips. So I think that that is a understandable choice from the brand to not maybe bump up the packaging and then have it at a really astronomical price. Um, I get that. I think it's a hard line to toe. So yeah, I really, really have enjoyed them so far. The only negative that I have found when wearing these is that if I'm not wearing a lip balm underneath, I find that the, the pigment can kind of not distribute that evenly. So I put it on and it swipes on really nicely and it, and it feels really comfortable. But when I look in the mirror, it kind of almost the pigment kind of clings to my fine lines on my lips and I don't have very pronounced fine lines on my lips but when I am wearing this without a lip balm I can kind of see it almost looks a little bit patchy so that's the only kind of negative that I found but I personally always prefer to wear a lipstick with a lip balm underneath anyway, whatever I'm applying, no matter the lip product. So it doesn't bother me because it's something that I would always do anyway, but obviously if that's something that maybe you don't wanna to go to the hassle of doing, or if you perhaps, if you have particularly dry lips, you know, drier than the, the average person, that might be a potential problem. However, I would say that you can uh, buy sample packs of different shades. So you can pay like $10 for a sample pack of their lipsticks and it will come with like all the nudes that they carry or, or a selection of the nudes that they carry. So you can then test out the lipsticks um, and see what you think for yourself before spending all of your money on the, the one lipstick. They also do have a return policy I was fine, I was noticing. So if you are dissatisfied within six months for any reason, um, within six months of purchasing your lipstick, you can send it back for a full refund. So I think that's really great that they offer that. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shades now. So starting with what I'm wearing on my lips today, I'm wearing um, a lipstick and a gloss over the top. So I'm wearing this shade Naughty. And this is one that feels really creamy. It's kind of more of a brown toned, deeper nude on me, but it still looks, natural and um, 
like kind of a, just a darker shade of my normal lip sh lip color. And then I'm wearing the Mint to Be Minty Gluten Free Gloss in the shade Sun Sparkles on top. And this is like a really sheer, it looks baby pink in the tube, but when you put it on, you can barely see it. It does have a slight pink tint but it's mainly just gonna, it's gonna be like a lip topper just to give you some sparkle. I really love the formula of the lip glosses. I've got two of them. Oh my God, they're so comfortable to wear. This one, it tastes like spearmint. It tastes so good. It's not like the normal minty flavor of lip glosses that I've had before. It feels like a much more natural, it tastes like a much more natural mint. Um, and as I say, it kind of tastes like spearmint, which is, a bit different and really nice. Um, it doesn't tingle or anything like that. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to plump, um, but yeah, it, I wouldn't say that I've noticed anything like that, but it does say it's designed to soothe and strengthen the lip. And I think you could wear it on its own as a nice little kind of treatment because it's not gonna look like you're wearing too much. Uh, so in the swatch, in the lip swatches, I actually wore this with a different lip shade which is Oh My Guava, which I'll talk about in a minute, but that's uh, my favorite combo to wear this with. I just think they go so perfectly together and they're really flattering on the lips. So I really enjoy that. Spice and Easy. Okay, so this is the lip color that feels just a little bit more matte and you can see it's darker than the uh, Naughty shade. This is the darkest shade I have actually. This is really nice as well. It's just a little bit more kind of brown toned. It still feels very creamy and nourishing, but it definitely does have that more kind of satin texture than the other lipsticks that I've tried. So it does say that this is the instant color formula and on the other web pages for the other lipsticks, it doesn't specify if it's a certain for formula. So it says the instant color formula feels very smooth, creamy, and buttery soft in application. So whether that's supposed to be more of like a satin, buttery soft thing, but I would say if you're talking like moisturizing and creaminess in that sense, I would say that this isn't as creamy as the other ones. Okay, so the shade that I mentioned that I love pairing with that lip gloss is Oh My Guava, and this is much more of a nude pink shade. So this is the kind of shade that I love to wear in springtime. Paired with that lip gloss, it just catches the light in the most beautiful way. It looks really fresh, just a really kind of springy, yeah, spring look. I really, really love it. It feels very creamy, very comfortable. Um, if you love pink toned nudes, then I think you really will love that shade. And then the last lipstick that I have is this shade called Strawberry Lips. And I got this because I used to absolutely love the shade Sea Sheer from MAC, which is like a sheer red. It doesn't look too intense. It's not like a true red lipstick, but it has, it's kind of like a, because it's sheer, it's kind of like a tint, but it's really moisturizing. And this is, I would say quite comparable to that. It's a little bit deeper in tones. It's called the, because the shade's called Strawberry Lips, I would say Sea Sheer by MAC is more coral, whereas this one is more of a deeper kind of berry red shade. But because it goes on sheer, it just looks like, um, yeah, just like a tint to the lips. On someone like me, it does still look like you're wearing quite a bright lipstick because I'm so pale, but because it's not super, super pigmented, it, it's the kind of lipstick that I wouldn't be like fussy about wearing out. Whereas other red lipsticks, I'd be like, oh, I can't be bothered to wear that out. It's gonna be a nightmare if I eat or if I drink, it's gonna go everywhere. And this one is much more wearable. It's gonna fade a lot more evenly and just be less ma maintenance to touch up during the day. So I really, really love that shade. And I think it's quite a unique shade for me anyway. And then the last lip gloss, this is probably my favorite lip gloss just because this is the kind of thing that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis just throw it on my lips not think about what I'm doing just literally brrr. so this is what I would describe more of a cream formula whereas the other one is more of like a sheer lip topper this this definitely has some pigment to it but this is in the shade tiny dancer did I say that already it's basically like a really warm peachy nude shade and 
oh, I just, I love it. I love it. So I always gravitate towards gloss colors like this just to wear, as I say, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's looking darker in the viewfinder than it does on my lips, but on my lips it just looks like your lips but better, a little bit more nude, a little bit more peachy, a little bit more kind of warm. One of my favorite lip discoveries in the last year, because there haven't been many, because I'm kind of really pulling back on buying lip product just because I'm not wearing lipsticks because I have nowhere to go. It does fade really beautifully and naturally throughout the day, but it gives your lips a good hit of pigment, but it's not so pigmented that it's like hard to get right when you're putting it on. You can definitely just swipe this on even without a mirror and you would be fine. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so those are all the lip products I have to talk about. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments what products you have tried, if you have tried any from Red Apple Lipstick or what you've got your eye on. I would love to know. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that you are doing well and taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.